Hey everyone, happy Thursday. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. It is Connor here and I am back for one more final candle review. If you missed it from earlier, I did a review on Yankee Candles Peppermint Pinwheels. And now I have got a country candle in the scent of Peppermint Twist. So we are doing some peppermint candles today. If you missed the video from earlier, from earlier, go definitely check that one out. Um, I'm gonna refer to it a few times in this video because uh, they are similar scents in a way and um, I just need to talk about that a little. Also, big disclaimer, I've been burning this for way too long now. <laughs> I think it's been like five and a half hours. I kinda like let this one go. So the only reason it is still burning right now <laughs> is because I need to review this for you guys, but then I'm actually gonna blow it after I blow it out after I show you guys an overhead view of the performance. But um, definitely don't burn your candles this long, especially country, because the sooting can get dirty. It's actually not doing terrible right now with sooting, but it is a little dirty. I'll get into that though in a second. But, um, you know, do as I say, not as I do. <laughs> but anyways, we are talking about Peppermint Twist from Country Candle. Before I get into it, I do want to talk a little bit about the deals going on right now at Country Candle. Um, these are the deals going on right now as of Wednesday night. So um, this comes out tomorrow on Thursday, but I'm not sure how it's going to be tomorrow. So um, Kringle is doing a 12 days of deals. And I think it's still going on. Actually, that might have ended. I think the tweet... The 12 days of deals is still going on, I'm pretty sure. Um, they have a bunch of the Christmas ones on sale, and I'm pretty sure everything Christmas might be on sale at this point. I think everything Christmas is 25% off. Um, I believe so. I believe everything is 25% off for Christmas. So the big ones are going to go down to 2065 the smaller ones are 1785 and then the three wicks the old ones are 1785 as well so um definitely go check those out not sure if you can use my code try it just in case but i'm pretty sure you cannot but again just try just in case cuz i'm not sure but i will say this one is available right now in the large jar the medium jar and the wax melt in the daylight so you can get the large jar on sale for $19.95. That's a really good deal. And then you can get the medium one for $17.85, which is another good deal. And then, of course, if you're a little skeptical, you can get it in the daylight for $3.50. And then the wax melt for $4.50. So some different versions to buy this in. But let's go ahead and kick it off with the scent description and notes. So... The description says, Peppermint Twist, those classic red and white swirled candies, have always created a frosty mint sensation. Peppermint Twist fills the air with that same fresh goodness. Your top notes are eucalyptus, peppermint, and orange. Your mid notes are peppermint, spearmint, and wintergreen. And your base notes are vanilla and musk. So, this is a very good candle it smells a lot like a candy cane or just like those little peppermint circular little candies that I was talking about with like the twist the white and the red this is what that smells like and it's very authentic to that smell or has that really nice mintiness to it of course like a eucalyptus borderline very spearmint winter green peppermint just very minty all together but then it also has that really nice like sugary vanilla taste to it and it's just it's dead on to what that is and so i think a lot of people are gonna like this one because i think that those little candies are nostalgic for a lot of people especially during the holiday times so pretty much all year round at least i would you know have those you know my grandma would have some in the little bowls um and i you know you just get them as little refreshments at restaurants and so um I know that those are, you know, they've been throughout my life. So this is definitely a candle that resembles that. Um, so I really like this. I do want to say, though, there's a top note of orange in here. And I do not pick up that orange. Um, I pick up every note but the orange. I pick up the eucalyptus, the peppermint, the spearmint, the wintergreen, the vanilla. I pick up a little bit of muskiness, but not too much. But um, the orange, I really do not pick up at all. Um, I just think it's kind of 
put in there. Sometimes what they do is they put notes in a candle to kind of balance it out with something. So they may have had a lot of peppermint and then want to balance it out with like a more sweeter, a more citrusy scent. So they put in some orange, but you don't necessarily smell that scent. It's just helping to balance it out. So I think they do that a lot. And that's kind of why if you look in the notes, you're like, huh, I don't smell that. But um, I believe that that's what's up with the orange. But yeah, I just really like the scent overall and I'm very happy with it and it's definitely something that I would purchase again. Okay, so now to refer back to the video from earlier, this smells like a complete dupe for Candy Cane Lane from Yankee. So I have one more Candy Cane Lane downstairs and I smelled it and it smells the exact same. Candy Cane Lane and Peppermint Twist, I'm like 99% sure are dupes for each other. Um, if you did not know, Mike Kittredge was the founder of Yankee Candle and he, you know, created, I think he created, it could have been after he sold it, but I'm pretty sure he created Candy Cane Lane when he was there. And so Mick Kittredge, his son who started Yankee Candle or sorry, Kringle Candle and Country Candle, he took, uh, you know, a lot of those blends that his father created and kind of made them his own and his own company. And I think that that's probably what he did here. So if you're missing Candy Cane Lane and you want a really nice dupe for it, try out this Peppermint Twist. It's a paraffin wax candle. It's two wicks. And I think it burns much better than the Yankee original jars. And I really like both the scents. They perform pretty much the same except for this, or sorry, they smell the exact same but this one performs much better. It definitely has the more strength and throw, and I just think that this is a cleaner burn. This does have a little bit of dirtiness, which I'm gonna talk about in a second, but overall, much cleaner burn. So if you're missing Candy Cane Lane and you're a OG Yankee fan, definitely try this one out. This could be your perfect opportunity to try out Kringle and Country Candle. <coughs> Excuse me, been talking for a while. <laughs> Um, okay, so let's go ahead and get into the cleanse. Can I can't speak now? It's it's late, guys. I'm filming this at nighttime because I have to go to bed soon because I work tomorrow. But let's go ahead and talk about the performance and the cleanliness of this candle. So um, this one is doing not so well with the clean part of it. So as you can see. I'll give you guys an overhead view. It has got some soot on the top, like in the ring here. It's a lot easier to see soot when a candle is not lit. Um, I'm actually gonna burn it out, blow it up. You can see even more here, but like you can really just see like that dark soot. I'll get a little on my finger, sacrifice my little finger. Um, so as you can see, there's definitely some soot on the jar. So that is pretty typical with paraffin wax. And unfortunately it is a problem with the country candles, but I'm 99% sure Kringle is reformulating the country paraffin blend. I've been hearing it all around. So nothing been confirmed yet. I don't believe if you know something, definitely put it down below in the comments for us to know. But um, I do believe that they are reformulating these and I'm hoping that they can do that in 2023 and it's going to help, you know, have a cleaner burn for these country scents because while I really love some of these scents that he has in the country line, they're very hard to burn because the paraffin wax is just not my favorite and definitely a dirtier burn. Um, still has some good strength and throw, probably even better strength and throw than the soy, but I just believe that they are much dirtier and definitely not the soy blend, or sorry, the 100% soy that I'm used to from the Kringle line. And I'm actually gonna do a review on Sunday of another country candle. So that one has a lot of discoloration, which I'm really upset about because discoloration not only makes the, like, makes the wax look dirty, but it also changes the scent of the candle so if you've ever like burned a candle that is discolored you know that it just smells off and it kind of has like that burnt dirty smell to it and sadly that's what happened to one of mine 
I'll do a whole review on that, so be on the lookout on Sunday, but that is just another example of what will happen with paraffin wax sometimes, so it's pretty unfortunate. So a little bit of a dirty burn, but um, I'm still probably going to finish this one and not crock it because why not? You know, I mean, I hate soot and I'm very careful with it. When I see a lot of soot, I crock it. This is not terrible. I've definitely seen worse, but I don't tolerate much of it. I try my best not to tolerate much of it. But anyways, as far as the strength in the throw go, I would give this a strength in the throw of like a five, five, yeah, solid five right there in the middle. It's definitely not something that's very strong for me. And I do think that this one's probably a bit lighter, but I do smell it. I've been burning it in my family room and it's working kind of well with the scents that I've been burning. I'm burning other peppermint scents and I've been burning them in like the kitchen, in the living room, in the dining room, and I feel like they're all kind of working together pretty well and it's pulling this one through, which is a bit of a lighter throw. So pretty happy about that, but I would give it a solid five. So yeah, that is my thoughts on Peppermint Twist from Country Candle. Let me know down below in the comment box what your thoughts are on this one. If you've had it before and let me know if you are interested in purchasing. If you have not, thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you're new here, please make sure you subscribe. I would really appreciate it. Turn on that notification bell if you want to get notified every time I upload and make sure to comment down below with any thoughts or questions and I will be back tomorrow for a new video. I will see you guys then. Bye.